Hey, what's going on, good people? Welcome back to Cook It Up with Chris. So today, we're gonna be making my very own tomato sub chicken breast. So let's get started. So whatever your favorite tomato is you can use today, I'm using some on the vine tomatoes, and we're just gonna dice these babies up. Uh, roughly, probably a half a tomato per uh, chicken breast. Well, a whole tomato per chicken breast. So we're just going to start, get these ends off, and then we're just going to get some about third of an inch slices, half inch slices, and we're just going to cube those babies up. And I'm going to keep on going with this and we'll come back. All right, so now we got our tomatoes all diced up, cubed up. Now we're going to season them, babies. We're going in with some salt, some pepper. Then we're going to get with some herbs. You can use fresh herbs if you want, but ain't nothing wrong with some dried ones. So we're going to go in with some oregano. Some basil. And some of my favorite parsley. Let me grab a spoon right quick. Dang, if I can get the top on. Uh, we're just gonna mix these seasons on in there. Salt, pepper, basil, oregano, parsley. End up with that beauty, and we're gonna sit it to the side for now. We're gonna get our chicken breast ready. All right, so what we're doing here with the chicken breast first, you're gonna season it how you regularly season your chicken. So, well, first, any extended tips or any pieces of fat you want to cut off, you go ahead and cut those off first. Now you season it however you like to season your chicken. Of course, I'm using my own all-purpose seasoning. Just gonna rub that baby in. Make sure it's got that good flavor. Gonna flip it over, season the other side. You might have heard that beeping. We are gonna bake these. Same thing, we're gonna rub that in. All right, now here goes where you get ready for the stuffing. So, on your fatter side, you're going to take your knife and halfway between the bottom and the top, you're going to insert. And you're only going probably 60 to 75% of the way through. You see my edge back here? I'm coming like to right here and just coming all the way down. Even about uh, stopping about an inch or two inches away from the end. All right. Now we got all these babies cooked with our little pockets inside. That one went through a little bit. But you got your pockets inside. Now we're gonna come, we're gonna take our tomatoes that we seasoned up earlier. Good job. And we're gonna stuff them right inside of there. All up in there. And with the tomatoes that's left, we're going on top. Just a little pile. You ain't got to try to cover the whole thing. That's right on top. We're 
know, pause for a second, get ready for the next step. We'll be right back. All right, now as you can see, I done transferred my chicken to the pan, and now I'm going over top with some cheddar cheese. I'm using the three cheddar. This blend is Vermont cheddar, sharp cheddar, and mild cheddar. So we're going to hit that top with that cheese. these beautiful babies going in a 350 degree oven for 30 to 40 minutes. Ooh, snap. And we'll come back when they're done. All right, time to get that chicken out. Ooh, let that heat come out. And look at them babies. All golden brown. Little cavities, it got those beautiful tomatoes up inside of there. Slice this baby right on the end. Mm. The good white meat chicken. Go ahead, bust it open for you. Is that what y'all waiting on? Look at that. Beautiful and delicious. Y'all enjoy that. <laughs> 